Why is everyone grabbing cheap rope from the Dollar Tree? Well, if you stay tuned to this video, I'll show you why. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. Now, before we get started, I wanted to share that this video is part of the first Friday open playlist that I host with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. And this month, I'm super excited to have Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun join us as our guest host. The links to their channels as well as the playlist will be down below. I'm using some scrap cardboard and I'm using a terracotta pot to trace out a circle. We're going to make a super easy rope basket and the size of your circle will determine the width of your basket or I guess maybe like the circumference. Um, I mean either way the size of the circle is how big your basket is going to be. Grab some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm using the decorative nautical rope. And if you didn't know, Dollar Tree carries a couple of different kinds. One is called nautical rope jute, and the other is decorative nautical rope. One is slightly thicker than the other. And I mention this because depending on what you're making, the size difference could be noticeable. And if that's important to you, keep that in mind. I cut off the end of the rope that has tape on it, and then I add some hot glue, and I very carefully kind of spread it around, the hot glue around the end to kind of keep it together. You just have to be super careful, you know, or better yet, wear those protective fingertip things so you don't burn yourself. And then I bend the end um, and kind of pinch it together. I add some more hot glue and I kind of pinch it together to, um, to the rest of the boat. And this is how I'm gonna start the base for the basket. And I'm trying to decide where to place it. I know you think, you know, just put it right smack dab in the center. But as you'll see in a minute, when you wind it around, it gets kind of off center. I mean, it's centered, but well, you're gonna see <laughs> what I'm talking about in just a second. So just put a dab of hot glue down and then press it down and hold it. And you will start hot gluing the rope down. I just put hot glue on the cardboard and I try to make sure that the rope is laying flat. And I make sure to hot glue all the way around and I kind of put it on the cardboard but also on the bottom edge of the rope that I'm gluing next to. I don't necessarily grab um, like glob it on or anything but I put enough so I feel it's going to stay. And as you can see the rope isn't perfectly fitting the circle and that's totally okay. I'm sure there's some kind of math equation to make it work perfectly but I don't know what that is and um but it's working out so that's that's the important part now you're gonna flip it over so that the part you just created is the outside bottom and then you're going to start to go around the edge to build it up and i try to be more careful with the glue on this part and put the glue more on the inside edge so in case it drips you won't see it as much on the outside and i just try to take it slow and steady i mean there's no prize for finishing fast or anything like that and when you're at the end of your rope, I mean, literally, <laughs> I add some hot glue to the end, just like I did at the beginning and kind of glue it down. And I do this so it doesn't unravel. And then I take another strand of rope, cut off the taped end and do the hot glue on the end trick. And I continue building up the basket. I only did two strands of rope, but for yours, the amount of rope you're going to need will depend on how big you want your basket to be. To finish this off, I'm using some faux leather to make a little handle and I cut off a strip the length I want and then I cut it in half and I cut it in half again because it still felt a little too wide and then I bring the two ends together to kind of form like the head of the awareness ribbon and I hot glued those together and then I hot glued the handle to the basket and I wrap the jute rope around another time because I kind of wanted the handle to be embedded in the basket. You kind of see what I'm doing. Y'all, this DIY is something that I made earlier this summer, but it was super cute, so I thought I'd share it again. I just added some fall foliage from Dollar Tree, and it hangs on my blanket ladder, and I think it's super cute. Moving right along to DIY number two, I'm tracing out three oval shapes onto foam board that I got from Dollar Tree, but you'll see in a second that you should actually just trace out three circles. It'd be easier. The next step is to cut the shapes out, and you can use an X-Acto knife or scissors. Just use whatever works best for you. You can neaten up the shapes as needed, as you see me doing here. And then take some jute twine, or you can use cord as I am doing, and carefully hot glue the end to the center of your shape. You're going to start hot gluing around, being careful because it's hot, and just continue on as you see me doing here, just kind of looping it around. And the reason I said to cut a circle shape is because, as you can see here, my cord is making a circle. <laughs> and you could just take a bit of extra time and like glue the centerpiece and create more of a rectangle shape and that would fit the oval better but that's not what I did so I needed to trim up the area that was not covered in cord and I just used my scissors to do that. 
To transition to the back, add some hot glue on the rim of the circle and then add the cording. And then once you go completely around, you can start to glue on the back. And then you're just doing the same method of carefully gluing down, pressing down the cord, and just adding more hot glue and so on until you reach the center. You're gonna repeat the process for the other two ovals and then it's time to put them all together. The three circles are not duplicates of each other, so you may have to kind of fiddle with this a bit. Just turn them and move them until you like how they look together. And once you like it, you're gonna put two of the shapes together side by side. I added a dab of hot glue to hold it steady. And then I added a generous amount of hot glue and added the third shape on top until they were all set. Just a few seconds is all it takes. The stem is part of a branch that I glued in the middle. And for added embellishment, I used several strands from a Dollar Tree hula skirt. I tied them together with some orange jute twine. And I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's neutral and will fit into any decor that you have. And it's so beautiful and just really easy to make. This maple leaf shape is from Dollar Tree. I sketched on some veins and then used a fine Sharpie marker, but it wasn't dark enough. So I got out the regular Sharpie marker and traced my lines. And there's no real rhyme or reason to this part other than I just chose some fall colors and started putting some in random places on the leaf. And you could really customize this and use colors in your home or just, you know, go all neutral with it. It's totally up to you. And as you can see, I was just putting the colors all over. I used yellow, orange, red, and plum. And then I had no real technique in mind other than to wet the brush and then start at the bottom and kind of drag the brush to the top. And there was a lot of excess paint, so I'd wipe it on some cardboard and I did try to sort of clean up the brush, you know, off as I was working, but I was not wanting the colors to mix too much, but to blend kind of naturally. Like I didn't want to create like a new color, you know, with all the other colors, but I wanted you to see that it was like multiple colors in it. You won't really see this later, but I did paint the stem brown. And to add some dimension, I took some jute twine and started adding on the veins adding it on the veins. Like I used the black veins that I traced on earlier to kind of guide me. And my original idea was to super glue it on because sometimes hot glue gets kind of chunky and then the glue strands are annoying too. But I was out of super glue. Womp womp. So I did have a fine tip glue gun. So, you know, it works out okay. I started at the bottom of the stem and wound some jute twine around. And as I go up the base of that, or base of the, <laughs> the, the stem, I started to hot glue the twine around the entire edge of the leaf. You can kind of see me like once I get there, see now I'm starting to go around and a fine tipped hot glue gun really works well in the situation. I added a piece of jute twine so I could hang it and that's it. I really love the varied colors and the texture that the twine brings to the leaf. And I plan on using this in, like in the middle of a wreath and you need to let me know what you think in the comments. I just think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. A lot of my supplies come from Dollar Tree and this nautical rope is the star of the next project. It's called actually nautical rope cotton. <laughs> and I took this piece of foam board that is also from Dollar Tree. It's about eight inches by eight inches. And I traced out kind of like a dome shape and I cut that out and I used an X-Acto knife and then I also used my scissors. And I'm using three bundles of this rope and I'm just folding it in half and laying it down on the foam board as you see me doing here. Kind of just seeing where it's all gonna fit. Then I start by hot gluing the centerpiece down and I try to get it in the center. Mine's not exactly centered, but it's close enough. And then you just glue the other strands down. You repeat that step until all the strands are glued down. And as you go along, you can kind of see that mine's not centered, but you know, it works out fine. I trim off the ends of the twine, I mean the rope, <laughs> to kind of level things out. And I turn it over and then I add some hot glue where the strands meet the foam board to reinforce it. Reinforce it. And when I say I add some hot glue, I mean a lot. <laughs> and then each strand is made up of three smaller strands and then I just kind of undo and separate each of those. I trim up the strands some more. I cut some round shapes for the eyes out of some black felt. It's actually like a sticker backed felt. So, and I trimmed the excess from the foam board. And then I added the eyes using a bit of hot glue to just kind of help it stick. And don't even try to tell me that this ain't cute because it totally, totally is. <laughs> I really love it. I want to make like a mini version to add to a garland. Now I'm making a hat with some more of that felt that has super sticky backing. It's a top hat. And if I thought about it, I would have made a witch's hat. But anyways, I'm using the inside of a ribbon spool as the main part of the hat. And I use some masking tape as the base 
like to trace for the bottom of the base of the hat. And then I just attach the felt to the ribbon spool. Now this is a base that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to kind of re finish removing the gunk from the sticker. And then y'all, I used a Dollar Tree mop head for this. It is so stinking easy. I flip it over and I find the center and I lay that down on top of the vase. And I don't actually attach this to the vase, but I attach the hat and I make the rest of the hat. So kind of gluing down that part and you see me attaching the top. I cut out a circle for the top. Some, some people I've seen do this, make it pre-made, but I also added some ribbon to the hat and I added two eyes that I made out of that black felt. And I just put those on the front and that's it. I added some purple fairy lights into the vase and I put the ghost back on top and it turned out so cute. I really, really love it. I really hope you enjoyed all of the DIYs that I shared today. I really love having y'all along to craft with me. And these DIYs are all fun and affordable to make. And remember, there's a playlist to watch. It's linked below. If you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy. Bye!